Hi, Glenn Zatola here, episode six, My Life in Jazz, and I'm using my two CD set anthology kind of as an audio script for the show because it's chronological, started when I was 15, it goes all the way up to current time, and it has over 50 albums and concerts in it. So this show might be a little more for musicians, but I think it has a lot in it that anybody can really relate to. And this is going to be a show about playing by ear, in other words, without theory and knowledge of music chords, and also about the great saxophone player, Zoot Sims. Um, And being around legends and the greats as I was in my parents' jazz club, I mean, I was 13 years old, and I would be performing every week with great jazz pianists like Tommy Flanagan, Bobby Timmons, Ray Bryant, Sonny Clark, Horace Parlin. So I was getting groomed. And then later on, working with Lionel Hampton, Benny Goodman, Jerry Mulligan, Ray Brown, Milt Hampton, Phil Woods, on and on and on. And this gentleman, Zoot Sims, uh, this was a gig organized by a a guy who wanted to put it together, his dream band. So it was Teddy Wilson on piano, Mill Tinton on bass, Gus Johnson on drums, Zoot, and myself. Now, Zoot came up with Stan Getz. They were both part of the Four Brothers and Woody Herman's band. But Zoot was much, much less known uh, than Stan, but very known to the musician. He was a real musician's guy. And uh, this was my first gig with Zoot. And when I arrived, I said to him, I'm an ear player. And he said, me too. And we locked in from the very first note. I think there's something very special about ear players. As I said before, a lot of the golden age guys, Lester Young, Louis Armstrong, they were ear players. They didn't really have, never went to school. They didn't have much knowledge. And But there was something special about the guys that play by ear. And I might have said this before, I want to reiterate this. Um, Sonny Rollins said, great saxophone player, you can't think and play at the same time. You can, but I know what he means. You can't be thinking about chords and theory while you're trying to create. You can, but you won't achieve real creative greatness. And when I go on stage to play, I have nothing in my mind, zero. And all I'm doing is hearing the music and playing. So when I'm playing with a guy like Zoot, who's also an ear player, we kind of lock in. There's nothing between us. And it's a beautiful thing. So this was a a tape I got from that. Actually, it was a house party. This was put together by a very wealthy doctor uh, for his friends at his house. Actually, Teddy Wilson was coming down from Boston And uh, he was late. He was stuck in traffic. So we decided to start this blues without piano. And I put this on my anthology, and it's a a section of a tune where Zoot and I are trading back and forth, chorus and then fours, just to give you the rapport I had with him. This gig was worth four years in college, but you couldn't get this in college. That's the thing. I'm playing with him, and... We did this one fast tune. It was an interesting thing. I played a good solo, lots of notes, and got a standing ovation. Very exciting. And then Zoot waits like maybe five or six bars before he comes in. He plays one note, but it was the right note with the right sound and the right feel. And that one note actually swung and lights went off in my head. I said, oh my God, this is where it's at. You can't get that in school. you got to be playing on the bandstand with the cats, with the real guys, and get this stuff by osmosis. I've been so blessed through my life to be in those positions and learn that way. And this is a blues, and there's some trading going on. I do. He does a chorus, and then I do a chorus, and then we do some four bars each. And um, I wanted you to really hear the rapport we had together And Zoot starts off on tenor saxophone first, and then I follow on alto. But he was a really special person, made so much music amazing.